This show is brought to you by our generous patrons at patreon.com slash falloutlorecast. Robots Radio presents The Fallout Lorecast. Welcome to the Fallout Lorecast, a place for the Fallout community to come together to explore the boundaries of our knowledge about the world of Fallout. Welcome to the Fallout Lorecast. I'm your host, Tom. You can call me Robots. I'm glad you guys are tuning back in. This is the first mini-sode in a series of... Uh, we're doing these episodes in between the regular episodes, so don't worry. If you really like the the main weekly episodes, those will still come out uh, by... I don't know. I haven't set up a regular schedule yet. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, beginning of the week-ish. Um, but in between those... I will at least be doing one mini-sode, or I'm trying to commit to that. And the mini-sodes are going to focus on a an individual vault. Initially, the idea was maybe I could cram a few different vaults into each mini-sode, but I think what I'm going to do in order to give them each the due time that they deserve, I'm going to just do one vault for each mini-episode. Uh, and a mini-episode doesn't have to take very long. It could only be a few minutes, but it's just something else to kind of sprinkle in during the week to give you guys something else to listen to. Um, and some of these vaults, really, there's not a whole lot we know about them. So I might do a like kind of closing episode where I, I group a bunch of them together uh, for the ones that we just don't know a whole, a whole lot about. But <clears throat> this week, we're going to focus on the first of the numbered vaults, the first of the official numbered vaults that we know about. Uh, vault three. And I think my plan is to just kind of go in order with the numbers. I think that kind of helps keep them straight in your head, you know, as you're going through them. Now, we don't have instances of every number between zero, it actually starts at zero for uh, a, an unconfirmed vault to 122. We have a bunch of official canon vaults. We have some other vaults that are brought up in non-canon sources like uh, some of the games that aren't considered canon or in extra files that people have data mined from some of the official games. But, you know, found like, for example, a vault suit with a number on it that the vault doesn't show up in the game anywhere. So it seems like the developers were planning on doing something with that, but they just never quite made it into the game. So we're going to start with the official ones. We're starting with Vault 3. And if you have played Fallout New Vegas, you might be familiar with Vault 3. Vault 3 was a control vault. It is one of just a few control vaults, and its inhabitants entered the vault just like most of the other vaults, in 2077, right as the, as the bomb started to drop, and they decided to get into the vault and hide away. And this vault was supposed to open after 20 years, very similar to Vault 76, which a lot of us have been playing lately. Now, the difference here is Vault 3, the inhabitants opened the vault up. They went out into the world and they realized, nope, <laughs> they, they noped right out of that. And they said, uh, uh we're going back in the vault. We're going to close those doors and we're going to try not to have to leave ever. So the information we have about vault three spans the, the initial assumption that they got in right at the time. Everyone else did at the beginning of uh, the great war and stayed in the vault until probably close to 2281. So 200 years later, um, now, when we stumble across Vault 3 in Fallout New Vegas, it's been 200 years, and the vault is not in great condition. We find out that although the inhabitants tried to stay away from the wasteland, that they were having water problems, and they had to leave maybe on multiple occasions in order to go fix the problem and then close the vault back up. And in doing this, they ran into some dangerous individuals. Uh, we'll call them fiends. Now, fiends in the wasteland are known for their drugs. Uh, they they like their 
jet and their mentats and all the other things that keep them going, which also means that they're violent, just like any other group and lawless and chaotic. Now, the vault is located just southwest of Camp McCarran. And that might be familiar to you if you played Fallout New Vegas. It's just outside the city limits of New Vegas itself. And when you enter the vault, you notice first thing that there are bodies littering the ground. And they don't look like they've been dead too long. And there's graffiti on the walls and everything looks disheveled. Um, now, in the in the context of the game, you can actually get around in if you have a speech speech check or if you are wearing the great con armor, you can actually get into the vault without conflict and walk around and kind of chat with the fiends. Um, but for most of us, we probably ended up killing all the fiends and, and looting the vault of whatever was left that was was valuable. Now, we don't know a whole lot else about the occupants of vault three. Uh, there's, there's some information left on some of the computers and things, but really it just, they seem like a normal group of individuals who just wanted to stay in their vault and they stayed there for what must have been generations. And then they had a water leak and they decided they needed to fix it. And they got screwed over by a Raider gang. So what we do know are, is some more information about the, the, uh, fiends themselves. Um, according to fallout.gamepedia.com, the fiends, have little organization except for their occupation of Vault 3, often aimlessly roaming the northern Mojave looking for their next chem score or an innocent wastelander to jump. Uh, There's some individuals who are named among the fiends who are part of their leadership, but otherwise they tend to be very chaotic. Um, It also notes here that the fiends attack anyone aside from the great cons, and if you've played the games, you know who the great cons are. Briefly, the great cons are one of the main... uh, organized groups of the wasteland. They own large swaths of land. They've been incorporating other raider gangs into their group. Um, Now, the fiends haven't necessarily been incorporated into their group, but they have a relationship with the great cons because the great cons supply them with chems. And that's their thing. They're a bunch of drug (laughs) drugged out chem fiends who are just looking to score their next their next hit, basically. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of information about the inhabitants of Vault 3. Uh, You're welcome to jump into Fallout New Vegas and check it out. Next time on our mini episodes, we are, our mini-sodes, I should just call them mini-sodes, we will be exploring Vault 8, which was a very important vault and another control vault. And it opened early, and the residents ended up establishing a very interestingly named city. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening to the Fallout Lorecast. All sounds and music are owned by Bethesda Softworks, and no copyright infringement is intended. If you have something you'd like to contribute to the show, please contact us at falloutlorecast at gmail.com, or follow us and post some messages to us on Twitter, at falloutlorecast. I really appreciate you listening, and I'd love to hear from you soon.